Welcome back, survivors. So we are back inside the Red Castle here. I still even haven't properly named all of this stuff, but it's Horde Night tonight. We gotta get ready to do some Horde time. Now, hopefully, we'll drop down here. We don't get any zombies stuck on any pillars, because we got stuck here last time on, like, the last little part of the build that wasn't exposed. It was really weird. But we're hoping now that this will get much better. We do have some time here today. It's only 1528. Speaking of... What I think I might do with that time is grab my auger and start taking some of this out because it'd be nice to get rid of this here too and get this completely upgraded and done. And then we can build our horde base down here. That'll be pretty damn sick. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it. Keep forgetting about those things. You know what? That's still quite a bit there. I'm going to just leave that. I don't even think I need to repair that for horde night. Um, anyways... Oh, it looks like we got some company here. What's up, guys? Well, it looks like I know what I'm doing before Horde Night. Oh, holy crap, that was an easy cleanup. It looks like they spawned over on that road over there and kind of derpy made their way to me. This is good, though. I love these wandering hordes because they provide loot, right? Normally, I'm not out looting a lot, so I don't get much of it. And I really do rely off the zombies that are close by. Whoa, holy crap, look how many nurses there are. This thing is OP now that it has some points and shit into it. Like, I can literally walk up and smack these zombies' heads and uh, crack them. If if I could actually hit them in the head. There we go. Stupid zombie bodies. Um, that's one thing I've always hated. Is when you walk on these, you actually slow down. I, I don't like that at all. Thinking of that, actually, you know what? I might see if I can remove that off my mod. I'm going to have to remember to add that to my uh, to-do list. Like, even these guys here. One hit to the head and a couple while they're down. And bam, he's dead. Just like that. There we go. Nice. So this is why I cannot wait to make my melee base. So that I can make Horde Knights great again. This fucker right here just sprained my goddamn leg. I didn't even see him. He was just crawling. And I went to go loot that zombie and smack. There goes my fucking leg. Right on Horde Night as well, too. Well, at least we're not doing melee tonight. That would actually kind of really suck. I'm going to clean up these bodies here and get a splint on this leg. Oh, look at that. This nurse here, what I assume would be a nurse because she dropped a splint, dropped a splint for me. How convenient. You drop a splint for me and your buddy breaks my leg. Kind of uh, a round circle on that one. All right, there we go. All cleaned up. Whole bunch of junk in my inventory. Actually, this uh, this schematic, I'm going to read that. That was quite handy. He broke my leg, but he gave me that, so I can't really complain about that. Uh, but if you missed it, in the one episode, we had zombies get inside the base on Horde Night, right? And I couldn't figure out what the hell. I thought maybe they had spawned on top somehow. Really couldn't figure that out. But what I had going on the side of the building at one point is this ladder right here. Which, actually, I need to take out while we're kind of talking. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. I'm going to leave that to later. Um, <laughs> I need to fix up that area. That's pretty bad. I should go in there and just kind of fill it in and make it look proper. Um, but what had happened is there was, they were piling up on this little wall over here. And then they ended up getting up on that ladder. The ones with the broken legs, um, they ran up here, fell off, and then got on top of that ladder somehow. So that was that mystery solved. But as you can see, that bridge is up, so if we do get some surprises inside at night, there definitely is something up, and we're going to have to figure it out. But I highly doubted it. Anywho, uh, I'm going to go back up and get this stuff put away. Ooh, i got to be careful. I just jumped down there, and I totally forgot I had the sprained leg. Uh, but hopefully by Horde Night, we'll get uh, rid of that whole sprained leg thing going on. That'd be pretty damn cool. But I'm going to spend uh, some time here, because we still have a few hours in-game. Uh, making some progress on these front steps. Oh crap, I did enough to get a freaking screamer already? Right before Horde Night? Well, ain't this fun. Oh shit, it's a cop too. Nice, nicely done. Nicely done. Alright, you come over here, little lady. I need you to come into these spikes here. Actually, what am I doing? I should just be fucking killing you. There we go. Dead. Nice. Um, this cop, though, I gotta get rid of this asshole. Um, why are you shooting at my place? I'm not even there. Hello? Right here. Oh, you know what would be cool? If they had billy clubs in the game. Uh, you can get billy clubs from cops. And, you know, they, they wouldn't do a lot of damage. But it'd be fun smacking up the zombies with them. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't be hitting me. All right. Steal this cop. Oh, he's actually not spitting that much. I'm actually quite... Oh. Spoke too soon. Okay, is he going to spit now? Okay, no. I actually did manage to interrupt the um, his actual action. You can do that too, by the way. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm getting out of here. He's going to explode. And bam, there he goes. Okay. So, one thing I've noticed with the cops as well, too. Like, he did do a little bit of ground damage around here. 
Um, but they don't seem to do as much block damage as they used to in the game. I think they kind of nerfed that a little bit. Uh, so that's a new thing, but holy crap, yes, those augers, guys, they do drive up that heat map like mad. Oh, <laughs> well, I got this nice little surprise. I'm over here um, starting to clean up the bodies and stuff, and this little lady was right over there. There we go. I'll actually hit you in the head this time. Oh, I see what's going on over here. Are you pre-breaking this on me? Why you be doing that for? Um, did they spawn in? They must- they might have actually spawned in under here. That's actually legitimately a real thing. Uh, because like I said, this stuff is asphalt and zombies can spawn on it. Plus this is a POI as well too. I'm actually quite surprised that we don't get the occasional zombie spawning in down here that I haven't come across. Okay, so I got a good fair amount of this done here, so I'm not uh, too worried. I'm gonna go up. It is 2100, so we have one more hour here until Horde Night. I gotta go up, get myself eat, get myself fed, uh, get my inventory empty of, like, any unnecessary stuff. Ugh, there we go. I'm gonna have to put another, um, hmm. Should I plate this? Yeah, I should probably actually plate this patio to make it match and then everything else can line up. And then I can put another hatch there as well, too. And holy crap, I almost fell right back down. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna spend a few minutes here getting shit together and I should see ya when that, uh, when that horde moon goes down. Oh crap, right before Horde Night, of course, I get a Screaming Screamer, and now I'm panicking throwing stuff in there. Damn it! Really? Right before Horde Night? Where are you even? Like, were, were you standing right here? Oh wow, my bad. Okay, we gotta get rid of her right away here. This Horde Night's gonna get insane. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'd be opposed to an insane Horde Night. Let's go over to the middle over here, see what's going on. Maybe we'll start a Horde Night before Horde Night. Oh, uh, look at all the red. I love it. The red with the red floor. Ooh. Oh, that looks actually pretty fucking cool. I like it. Look at that moon coming down. Hmm. I used to live for hard nights. They're not so great anymore, but we'll get back there. What are you doing a little later? You're, uh, going for a walk, apparently? Or are you, like, that derped out you can't figure out where I am? <laughs> okay, so I don't know where the rest of these zombies are here. Um, I think they kind of just ended up spreading out. Uh, she probably called them out up front, but because they're screamer zombies, they actually don't come to my location, right? Oh, look at that. They're all out here doing their weird zombie stuff. Over here, guys. I'm over here. This one here won't even... Oh, my God. You know what? I'm going to hit her with a rifle bullet. There you go. That got her attention. And it's Horde Night. Sweet. We have that stupid freaking guy over there going up and down the dang pole. Uh, these couple here were actually from, uh, she was one of the ones spawned in, but I kind of want to get, let these guys get, uh, piled up in the middle here a bit before I start, holy crap, their legs go real easy on that stuff, before I start dispensing. Yeah, there we go, oh shit, now we actually have cops here, okay. Wow, this Horde Knight's real now. Fucking awesome. Yeah, see, now this is where Horde Knights get exciting, because these guys, can do damage to my bars, right? And at the same time, they can blow up down there and do damage to the base. So now, we actually have um, some repair to do after Horde Night. I don't want this guy to explode. Is he gonna fucking- OH SHIT! Oh, I tried jumping up and didn't quite make it. <laughs> Whoops. So lesson learned, guys. I forgot about that. We're really close to those cops. Um, as soon as I see that exploding animation, I really got to get on top of that shit. But holy crap, he took out like all my defense. Um, but they're <laughs> look at all the zombie bodies collapsing and falling. Oh no, this is nuts. Now there's gonna be stuff down there holding them up like that. Oh shit, this is gonna get a little hairy. Probably should have prepared a little better. All right, here we go again, and boom! Look at that. There goes the cop, and he blows up all his buddies as well. So yeah, now that we have the cops there, um, that technique of putting that down there is not gonna work so well. But you know what, guys, I have ac actually I haven't died in a while. That was actually a little embarrassing, but whatever. It is what it is. I literally gener or genuinely genuinely I, I swear I'm not swearing, or I swear I'm not lying. That I tried to jump. Oh, and another cop. Holy crap, that's a lot of cops on Horde Night. My game stage must be pretty damn high so how you get zombies now instead of like them all coming at once you get waves right your game stage depends on when you died um how high level you are how many zombies you've killed you know just generally how good you are doing in the game right uh so the better you're doing the higher your game stage and the more zombies you kill the higher your level the higher your game stage is that guy gonna explode it's so yeah look at that he just exploded it is so hard to tell now 
because they, they it's like they don't make the sound or the animation or anything that was actually a good call on that one wow this is uh this is gonna get a little more uh, intense with the the cop zombies but it looks like my bars are holding up okay um Oh, okay, I was gonna say, is there no more zombies? We need more zombies. This is sick, though, actually getting some cops and shit. There is a freaking gun, or a whole shotgun, laying on the floor down there. Look at that shotgun, I'm staring straight at it, too. I bet it's high level. I bet that's a high level shotgun. Damn it! See, this is why I want to be out there, you know what I mean? I could grab that shotgun if I needed to. Ugh, we really gotta get our ass together. And make a way better horde base. And I gotta stop wasting shotgun bullets talking to you guys and not aiming at these zombies' heads. Come here, zombies. Okay, so it definitely has slowed down here. Really? There you go. The third one was a charm, I guess. Um, I'm only getting a few zombies at a time now. It's 2400. So dying must have, like, cut down the, um, um, how many zombies I'm gonna be getting at a time. It's like, look at this. This is completely manageable now. Uh, as compared to when the Horde Knight first started, we got a whole bunch of cops right off the bat. That was freaking awesome. No, oh, we got another dog, so I'm almost actually out of shotgun bullets here. So, um, it seems I've been getting three at a time. I'm actually gonna wait a minute here and see if we get more than this, but... The zombies do not seem, seem any longer to be getting stuck on the outside. You know what would be crazy is to make a drop pit under here. I'm not gonna do it. Um, simply because a drop it would be incredibly small and there would almost be zero point to it at this stage. I can just drop it enough so that I can fight the zombies below and have enough room to hop and jump around and see and everything. And we'll put some spotlights and stuff in and do whatnot. and wow, it looks like we're only going to get three at a time here. It is what it is. So the other thing I want to talk to you guys about as well too, I know a lot of you have probably joined in, in, um, in the recent last few months and I've been doing so solid console let's plays for uh, season two. And then Season 3. We had, what, 56 episodes, I think, in Season 2. And then um, now we're into Season 3. So I've been doing it for a few months now, right? And kind of working on my mod on the side. My channel, if you guys are, are new here, is, is a cross-platform channel, right? Like, I, I honestly enjoy gaming on both platforms. Especially games like 7 Days to Die, right? So it's not a big deal to me. Um, but for some viewers, they, they, they get a little um, overzealous when, when they find that maybe I have some different console than the norm. Or some different console some different content from the norm on my channel. So I'm think I, I want to do a let's play on my Settlers mod. I've been working hard on it and I think it's refined enough now that I can actually make an entertaining let's play. So I want to start bringing that back to my channel as well too because I mean I haven't really done um, a PC let's play since Alpha 15. So it's about time I start working on that and I want to mix it up a bit too, right? So you might not see Seven Days to Die PS4 on my channel every day. That means I'm not stopping this, but I'm going to mix it up a bit and kind of, you know, bring the other crowd back in as well too because um, I know for a fact too that a lot of my viewers are uh, are pretty mature and honestly a lot of them don't care what platform that the content is made on for them it's more about the experience right like they're they're not fanboying over that shit and damn it i am out uh bullets on that one okay it looks like i'm gonna use my hunting rifle Ooh, that was a lucky ass shot looks like i'm using my hunting rifle for oh it's only 105 a.m Oh my god. Oh, look at this guy over here. So it looks like I'm going to bring some PC content, uh, content back. So I do appreciate you guys understanding with that as well, too. You know what I mean? Like, don't go and dislike it just to dislike it. Simply just, if you if you don't want to see it, don't watch it, right? That, that's kind of like what I do when I uh, watch TV. There's a lot of stuff on some channels I don't watch. Um, what I do is I just don't watch it. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of more effective with this hunting rifle than I was that shotgun. Holy shit. All right, so I'm going to go over here. I think we have, like, handguns and SMGs, and we should have a whole bunch of 9mm. Oh, wow, look at our 9mm rounds. Uh, you know what? Everyone's been bugging me to use a fucking Magnum, so I'm going to go ahead and use the six bullets we have. Don't be disappointed, guys, when I don't hit shit, because um, I suck with a Magnum. I haven't used a Magnum since, like, Season 1 of my PS4 Let's Play, but since we have one... Let's go ahead and see what this baby is capable of. Here we go, guys. Get stuck underneath me. That's perfect. I really don't want to waste the bullets because you can, like, one-shot them in the head with this fucker. Oh, there she goes. She's down. Oh, is she dead? Because those bullets did definitely not hit her in the head. Okay, well, that one one-shot to the ground. Bam, there we go. Look at that. It was such a good shot that it legged out the game. 
There we go. Awesome. Are you not dead? Oh, okay, there she goes. <laughs> magnum bullets are so expensive, and we're out of magnum bullets. But there you go, guys. You finally got your magnum fix. Now, the one thing I would note about the uh, the SMG, the nice thing about... Whoa, look at that. Oh, holy crap. I have some actual zombies for once. I was getting, like, one at a time. I was actually kind of getting bored. Uh, the nice thing about the SMG is that it, rif or it levels your rifle skills. Oh, look at that. I got that one down. Nice. Uh, levels your rifle skills, so it's a lot quicker and actually cheaper to use the SMG to, like, level up your sniper rifle and your hunting rifle than it is to, like, use them uh, shot for shot to level it up, right? Because it's not... Wow. It's not per kill, it's per shot. So you can literally shoot your um, your um, weapon up into the air just to see what happens, and you'll level your skill in using it. Okay, so we still got that Spides over there. He keeps... Um, I don't know I don't know if these are like spiders from Horde Knight or what's going on with these guys. You know what? Maybe there's some spiders derping out around the build, and that's what's actually causing the slow zombies, because that could be it, right? There's a max alive um, per wave. Um, I would assume it's 8, the same as it was on PC when it's introduced as um, a base. Now, there is no option yet, I don't think, to make it more, because, well, it's a little obvious, right? You got a, you got performance issues, you can't have a thousand different zombies coming at you at one time. Holy crap, this thing could take a fucking beating. That took a lot of bullets right in the ass. Okay, now that I got her down, let's get back to this guy. He's, like, doing a ring around the rosy thing here, and I am wasting so many bullets on him. Come here. Oh, look, I can actually aim down the sights because my hand isn't trembling. Now, a lot of people have watched my P uh, my PC content as well, too. And there's been a bug in the game ever since, like, the game existed. Um, that the further away you get from 0-0, zero, zero, from center, the shakier your hand animation gets. Like, it gets really, really shaky the further away you get, right? So, like, look at it. Yeah, there we go. We I think we have a whole bunch of um, spiders in there. Try Why are you guys going for those poles instead of those ones this time? That is so weird. That's what's probably clogging up my uh, my zombie spawns. Like, that guy's not even doing anything. He's just spinning around in one spot. Oh, my God. Difficulties. Holy crap. He finally died. I finally got him. I literally shot him in the asshole like 300 times. Holy crap. That's what it is. I think there's whole spiders around the bottom of this build trying to get up the pillars. And it's only allowing, like, one or two spawns like this to come in. Well, now, actually, it is officially trickle time. It starts around um, 2 a.m., and, well, depending on, like, when your morning is, right? It starts around 2 a.m., and then you only get, like, one or two zombies at a time. Um, I actually like to remove that, that whole trickle time thing, because I think the zombies just come, like, full tilt right up until morning time. Oh, here we go. We still have a couple over here I can get you guys to run on so I can actually hit you in the head. Oh, and she busted it. Damn it, jinx myself again. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about as well, too, is... I, I see in the comments all the time, you know, I want the new zombies, I want the new zombies. And honestly, like, a good variety of zombies on Horde Night is a really good thing, right? Because all I'm seeing is boring zombies and a cop and a dog every once in a while. Like, this is just, you know what I mean? Like, we've been playing on console with the same zombies for a while now. Actually, I've been playing with the same zombies for even longer than that because I started playing way back in Alpha, uh, when it, whenever it came to Steam. I, it was Alpha 8 when it came to steam uh but the reason we haven't seen any new zombies yet on console is because they introduced the new zombies in alpha 15 and they didn't like the delivery system that they used to make them so they're reskinning them right now um like we'll, we'll have we have all new zombie skins again in alpha 16 right so i'm sure and an update here coming soon. I, I'm thinking one or two updates. We're going to have a slew of new zombies. Which will be really nice. Because honestly, like it'd be nice to see a hazmat worker. Or just something besides like the nurse and the crawler and all that other crap. And holy crap, it's 4.05am. I'm still talking. And Horde Night's um, over. Holy. Okay, let's drop down here and see what's going on. Um, I am going to put this back into my hand. Because this thing's badass and takes care of everything I need it to. Where are you guys at? Oh, okay, so we have... Do we have any spiders down here? That's what I really wanted to look for. No, we got a crawler over here. We got one guy stuck over here on the fucking frames. Uh, we got one guy in the building over there. Holy crap, what happened here on Horde Night? The zombies were like, you know what? Fuck it, we're bored of doing the same thing we do every seven days. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, go sightseeing. See what's going on. Maybe my hotel is too distracting for them. They have to come check it out. All right. These last two guys, and I should be able to grab all of this uh, up for loot here. Excuse me? What are you doing? How the hell did he chew through the front? 
Oh no, he chewed through the side over here and then came through here and is bashing his way. This, um, excuse me, mister, pain in the ass, you were probably chewing up a whole, uh, spawn spot, or a spawn slot on Horde Knight as well, too. Friggin' assholes. This is why I don't like crawlers on Horde Knights. That was a little bit of cleanup, but it wasn't too bad. Hey, what's this zombie? Oh, you know what? Is that that screamer? Is she still here? Holy shit, okay. Yeah, that's totally that screamer I was killing earlier. She wandered over here is getting stuck here. So, um, after seeing that Horde Knight and the cop explosions and me derping out and not getting up in time, my bad. Um, I think we're going to go have to go ahead and start upgrading this as well here too, sooner than later. Uh, but in order to do I almost scrapped those for brass to save room in my inventory when I'm going to turn them back into those same things. Whoops, I usually do it when I'm out in a boat, but since I'm home, uh, you know what? I'm gonna save like whole stuff. Why? I may as well, right? What if I do one day say, hey, you know what? I wanna make a whole bunch of landmines just to see what happens, right? So I'm gonna put this stuff away here and then we're gonna continue on building our place. Okay, so I gotta concentrate on um, getting my stats up as well here too. So what I've done, especially since I'm working at home, and really all I'm gonna get is random spawns around. So what I've done is I've just put my meat and my drink into my tool belt here. So, you know, every once in a while I'll come across, I'll be like, oh, can I eat? And I'll eat. Even if I'm wasting, you know what, I probably shouldn't do this while I'm talking to you guys. Even if I'm wasting my wellness, or not my wellness, even if I'm wasting the food, at this point we're doing pretty okay because I have tons of meat from running over all those animals and we have a huge farm going. So even if it gets down to it, I could sit there and eat a whole bunch of baked potatoes, which really won't give me a lot of wellness, but hey. You know what? We died. I'm back down to 151 in this day 64. So yeah, maybe I should start concentrating on that here too. Uh, you know what? Auger back out and back to business. So the other thing I just realized too, I just checked all my supplies, is we're actually kind of getting low on the gas supply. I have six barrels in my uh, my mini bike here, and I only have three barrels left on me, and this does take up quite a bit of gas. Uh, so I'm thinking we're actually in for a trip to the desert here soon. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking about it, guys, and I almost feel like it's adventure time. Uh, we've just done a whole bunch of building and stuff, so I want to go... Oh, we did maps. Um, we, we did treasure maps as well, too. That was a blast. But I'm going to put this stuff away here, especially in our food. Like, look at all the meat we got, and we're about to head back out as well here, too. So, um, there should be food in my mini bike. I'm going to have to double check on that one, but there should be food up in there. Uh, and I'm going to hop on it. We're going to go onto the map. On the map. We're going to go down on the map here. We're going to head south. And this here is a desert biome. Um, it's the only one I've found so far. So we're going to go there, um, set up like a little farm. And then we're going to do um, mining for that for gas is so easy, guys. It is so easy. I should only have to go and maybe spend like a couple hours an hour out there getting what I need for like weeks worth of supplies. Anywho, I'm going to hop on that bike and head my way down there. May as well. Oh, and here we are, guys. We're in the desert, finally. Wow. This is actually the first time I think I've actually seen a legit desert in my entire playthrough. So, wow. And look at that. A rabbit right off the bat. Did it die? No, it's right there. Let's go wrap it on. Too. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to find a nice point here to see if there's a POY or something, or even the end of the roadway will work. And that'll kind of keep me, um, give me like a central area, right? Oh, while I'm here, I should pick up like aloe vera and crap so I can make health stuff. That would be really nice. Oh, here's a road. And it looks like it ends actually right over here. Um, and there doesn't appear to be anything anything else coming off these roads which kind of sucks but that's okay um we can work with this right at the end of the road i think this uh this is very pleasant right here so what i'm gonna do is this is nice and healy here healy um hilly hill it has lots of hills there's hills all over the place uh so that means i can do uh, some collapse and stuff real easy and that should open up a lot of uh sand for us so i'm gonna start out here because i'm gonna be digging downwards and i don't want to deal with screamers right away um i'm gonna start out here with my shovel and kind of just start digging myself a little bit of a wall or a little bit of a pit here so we can start doing some collapsing okay so i'm down here right i pulled this out because well i kind of felt like it i was getting bored with the shovel anyways um but i think i'm gonna go about this one a little bit differently what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna drill a hole i think right straight down here where the roadway is and then put a ladder in there so i can get up and down and go right down to bedrock and then just try to start collapsing it from bedrock because it is um sand 
it does collapse pretty damn easy. Like, look at this. Look how fast this is to go through with a freaking auger. Holy shit. Okay, so I've gone down here about 42 blocks-ish. Uh, so that's pretty deep. I don't think I really have to go any further than that. And if I can actually get back up to the top here. Oh, I love it when it glitches out like this. You know what? I should take out this block right here. There we go. Much better. Must um, Natural blocks are a pain in the ass uh, to go up and down on the ladder. Because the ladder kind of hides like in the block, right? So it's hard to get up and down. And, oh, I thought I was falling there for a second. Cool. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to whip out the auger. And I'm literally just going to start digging. We're going to start digging over this way. Um, a nice big flat area. And always make sure that I look behind me. And I know where the ladder is because this is where I'm going to have to come to avoid the um, the actual initial collapse. Uh, because this first collapse is going to be quite big. Oh, look at this, guys. I heard a ting. I heard a ting somewhere. There it is. Nice. Okay, so we don't have a collapse yet, but I did find uh, some resources here, which is a really good sign. So, oh, is this a nitrate deposit? You got to be kidding me. It's not even a shale. Ah, there's some shale. Sweet. Where did the shale go? Okay, there's going to be more shale. There's nitrate in here, too. That's actually kind of cool. Um, but what I'm looking for is shale, and that's shale right there. See that kind of, like, deep purple type look? The, the different purpley to it? Um, that is the shale. So, damn, look at that. Like, oh, my God. You can make so much gas with this. It's not even funny. So, all we got to do is hit, like, four or five of these big ones, and we'll be set for, like, our entire playthrough. It's insane how much you can get. Okay, so I've dug out a huge area here, right? And I've come across an area that's also iron and shale now this um where you find the iron i find you actually end up finding more shale uh that nitrate is a fluke you get random chances at other um at other iron is the default one right like usually you'll find iron mixed with everything else uh but sometimes you'll get a different one like the nitrate one where i found it mixed with all the shale but this generally i find tends to have more shale in it when it's mixed in with the iron uh but look at our supplies here guys we got 4265 oil um Almost two full stacks of sand, some raw iron, holy crap. Oh yeah, and we can't forget the nitrate as well too. We got 3,136 nitrate out of this. And there's still a lot to go. Like I just ran, I think there's like three of them that combined together here. Because I've um, also found some other iron way on the other side of this dig out here too. Uh, the biggest trick of doing all this guys is figuring out your way out after. Well, that's it, guys. We are out of gas. Um, we do have some in the mini bike, um, which isn't that big of a deal. I could go grab and use it, but I want to save that gas for now. So if we take a look at my inventory here, we ended up with almost 5,000 oil shale, um, over a stack of iron, a whole bunch of sand, and some nitrate powder, which is cool. Now, I think what the best option now is to go back home. It's almost nighttime here, and there's probably screamers galore up there as well, too. Oh, what? Oh, that's a little hidey hole I made. Where's the actual thing up? Ah, here it is, right here. Uh, so I think it's actually best now to actually head my ass home, and we're going to go and see how much oil or how much gas we can turn this into, because it would actually be better coming back here with a ton of gas, and then I could just spend, um, like, uh, you know, do a cut between episodes and just spend some time down here collecting a whole bunch of it, and that'll make things a lot easier, because that's what this game is about, right? Like, it just makes sense to go and collect a whole bunch of stuff at once, and then I can go and do other stuff. And wow. Yep, I can hardly, already hear them up there. So we're going to have to get on the mini bike. And we're going to have to get the fuck out of here. Holy crap. There's a zombie right there. She don't want us. Um, oh, you know what? Is that a normal zombie? It is too. Oh, it's just some zombie smashing the wall over here. How did we not get any screamers? There's got to be a few wandering around. Oh, look at that. They're just cutting their way into that wall. That's fucking hilarious. Okay, guys. Well, I guess I got a long drive home here. So I will see you once we get there or if something ridiculous happens in between. Because sometimes that happens too. Oh, look at that, guys. I was actually was not prepared for that. I got off to search a couple bobs here. And that one bob gave me 60 bullets. Six zero bullets in one shot. That's freaking awesome. So I'm going to keep my eye out for those bobs. I usually, uh, I think I tend to find them on like the hilly areas where they kind of poke out from underneath the ground. I think that's like a little Easter egg thing they threw in there. The bobs in the ground. I like it though. I, I wish the bobs were still in the game on, on PC. Oh, look, a deer. Well... There's some dogs. There's some dogs chasing me from behind. Ooh, I should probably not look backwards while I'm driving forwards. I definitely do not want to get stuck on some shit. 
Oh, look at that. We're actually close to the city. That would probably actually explain why. Um, or maybe not. Maybe just a wandering, wandering horde of dogs. Gotta love that. All right, north we go. We're getting closer to home. This drive actually isn't that bad. These maps always look way bigger than they actually are. And here we go. Home sweet home. And what's this? What is this up here? Body? That's a little odd. Whatever, I'll take it though. Um, anyways, home sweet home. We're here. There's nothing in my mini bike, so I'm going to just take it up here and park it. Uh, but I do want to go, whoops, and take a look at how much gas we can make, like, literally right off the bat here. I'm really anxious to see that. So let's get this mini bike up here in port and this bridge up. And bam, let's see how much we can make here. So gas cans. So for a gas can, you need 12 oil shale. So that'll make us 407, but watch this, right? You, you think, oh, okay, 407, that's not that much gas. Uh, watch this when I turn the sucker on. 60 minutes, 66, perfect, here we go. I'm gonna take that glue out of there, put everything else away, and then we'll come back and take a look. This, um, here we go, crafted in lots of 100. I was gonna come back and show you, but it says it up here. Uh, a can of gas can be used to fuel powered tools and vehicles. So every one of those is 100. So if you add two zeros to that, that's 40,700 gas cans we just made. Holy fucking shit. So we're going to have gas for a while. Even actually, you know what? That might last us long enough that I won't have to go back to that mine for a while. And even still, it's not that bad of a, of a, of a drive overall. Okay, so I'm going to turn off these forges as well here too. They've been going for a while. They've got us uh, some resources. Oh, look at that. Some cement. Oh, and look at that. We have stone and sand on us. Before I empty this stuff off, oh, I keep coming up here. Thinking my area is up here as well, too. And oh my god, it's so nice to be running across flat floor like that. I can appreciate that big time. So we're going to go ahead and make some concrete mix over here. Um, now, why I turned those forges off is because we have this sucker going here, too. This creates quite the uh, the heat map. Oh, and by the way, guys, you're going to have to come back here and empty this thing out often. So if you're making this much at once, um, this is like the um, the old cans when they used to start, the old bottles when they only stacked to 15. You'll have to come back and empty this out because it won't keep producing. It'll burn, but it won't keep producing them for you. Uh, oh wow, that's so many gas cans. Okay, so we have um, a decent amount of steel in our hand here, so I think it's a good idea as well too to go around the sides and finish upgrading the parts that need to be upgraded to steel to steel. So, if I grab my nail gun here, whoops, not that leather duster, damn it, get all their leather duster. I'm going to grab my nail gun here, we're going to go hop down and finish upgrading some of these uh, supports. This building is coming along really well, and I'm really happy with the progress we have. Oh, wait, okay, before we go downstairs, I know this drives some of you nuts, but you'll have to deal with it. Let's go check on our plants, uh, see how our mums are doing. Oh my god, I have a field of mums here too. And it looks like they're just starting to mature as well, because these in the back haven't matured yet. Oh, nice. Okay, so we'll have to come back up and pick up our matured mums later on, um, right after we're done this upgrading. So I, I want to do the rest of that floor in there, like big time. All right, so this side here seems to be almost completely done. I didn't do this little round spot here, and wow, oh my god. Yeah, we're actually going to need a lot more steel than I originally thought. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're getting close. It can't be too bad. Nope, the whole front of the building still needs to be done. Uh, along with the supports along the side here. Holy crap. Okay, so the back is done. I know the back is done. So let's go ahead and uh, get this side done here as well too. Oh, wow, it doesn't even wrap around. Does it wrap around the top and the back? It doesn't. Okay, well... I'm going to have to start pumping out some more steel here soon, too. Okay, well, that wasn't so bad. That was definitely enough steel to finish um, up around the back, do the um, uh, finish the supports over there. At least I think I finished those supports. They should not be concrete. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're out down the steel on that side. Six, so that side steel, that side steel, and I'm just finishing up around the trim on this side. And then we only got the front done for steel, but the front doesn't even have any supports or anything anyways. Oh, look at that, we're out of steel. So we almost got that whole side done, but damn, that's going to take a while. These things here, guys, I'm tired of looking at them. We have to get rid of this here. This has to go. Um, I still have my auger on me, which is cool. We should have a good amount of gas now up in uh, the chem station, which I should empty out soon. And then we'll come back down. Um, it's almost morning, and I'll start doing some augering. Oh, look at that. Athletics is now level 69. Giggity. 
Um, it's good to be getting those levels. Athletics is one of the ones that take forever to get up there. You have to do a lot of running around. Oh, look at that. I made some more lights in here as well, too. We can probably... Oh, no, no. Stay on track. I am out front trying to uh, get rid of those uh, steps here. Holy crap. Good thing I came back. Look at that. This thing's almost full already. I told you guys, like, look at that amount of gas. Isn't that freaking sick? And at the same time, as this starts stacking up, because you can only stack them in a thousand, right? You come to your workbench. Go ahead, bam, you make a whole bunch of air, uh, barrels. They'll take a while. This is why you want multiple workbenches as well. Um, but I'm actually going to wait a couple minutes here, grab a little more gas. You know what? That's enough gas to get us going for now. I'll come back up and check this thing. I'm going to have to constantly do that anyways. Nine seconds to make 100 gas cans. That's actually insane. Oh, shit. I got a screamer, guys. Heard her last second, so I'm going to get above here because it's still only 3 a.m. Oh, she saw me. Okay, well, whatever. You know what? I can deal with this from here. Uh, what weapons do I still have? Ooh, let's go grab my SMG, and then we can take care of this little lady. This seems like it's going to be the deal here while I'm working on this, especially when I'm working on the horde base. Um, the trick is with the horde base is I'm going to have to try to keep them away from everything at the same time. Uh, we'll take that one. It's it's slightly lesser level, but it's slightly more repaired, so we should be good to go. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Okay, you're standing right at that pole. Ooh, how do you like them headshots? I heard you don't like them very much. Okay, sweet. We got the uh, screamer down, and it doesn't sound like she actually brought in too many friends, so we might be okay. Might be okay to go back down there and check shit out. Uh, now, it doesn't help either. I had these forges going. I had these forges going, too. I turned them both off. But I had these forges going, and I'm kind of working in the same area with the auger that already has a heat map from these. So, yeah, that's probably why they're getting called in so much. Um, even on this side, too. Actually, you know what? Having the chem station back here and the, the mixers back here is probably a good idea because they're not in the same chunk that the, the forges are. Spreading them out is always a good idea. Do, do we have another one? Is that another one I heard? Yeah, it was another one we heard. So it's just a stupid freaking crawler. Oh my god. Like I said, hate these things. Um, if they made them so that they can get through like one block spaces and like blow or like blow their way through one block space is really easy. Or they, you know what I mean, they had a lot of block damage to them. That'd be freaking cool. But other than that, they're more of like a, a slow ass moving zombie that's a pain in the ass to shoot. Oh, looks like we got company again. Almost got it finished off this time, but not quite. Oh, there's a zombie over here. Oh, there she is. Can I kill her before she sees me? Nope. Nope. She definitely screamed as she was falling to the ground. When I shot her, damn it. Um, but there is a floating zombie body over here I want to go investigate. I've never been able to get this close to one. Can I loot it? Can I do anything with it? Nope. It's just a floating zombie corpse. Actually, can I even collide with it? Yeah, I can definitely collide. What are you guys doing in my base? I can definitely collide with it. That's crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's actually quite a bit of zombies. Look at them all. And that freaking spider over there. Freaking hate those things. You know what? I'm going to bring them over here. Let's bring them all in the middle. That way I can loot them all. There you go, little lady. One down for you. You know what? I can just start calling all these zombies dudes just so we don't fuck this shit up. There you go, dude. What about you, dude? Oh, no, no, no. You ain't breaking my leg, motherfucker. Oh, nice. I one shot that zombie right in the head. And this little lady here, too. Sweet. Um, so it, it, the screamers aren't that big of a deal anymore. Honestly, I kind of almost welcome them at this point because um, this is the only way I'm going to get XP now is by killing these zombies. Like everything else is leveling so slow uh, that it's kind of pointless. And at the same time, I need bones and that's a little hard to do on Horde Night right now. Uh, being with my setup. Once I do get the melee base set up though, it'll be a lot better. Can I hit this thing with an axe? Nope. It's just there. That's all. I'm going to have to deal with it. This floating zombie body all by itself. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to clean these up and get back to work. There we go, guys. I just took out the last block out of the front entrance. It is all done. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? But then I looked over here and I'm like, fuck. I still got these little curb things going on. So you know what? I'm going to take these out. Then we'll come back and look at it. Look at it in all its glory. Thought I heard another one. There you are, little lady. You coming over to see me? Yeah, I'm the one making noise over here. You coming over to make some noise of your own? Oh, that was satisfying. I don't even think she got a scream off. Nope. Okay, now after cleaning up that body, we can look 
and take oh, oh that's so cool i love how the um the building's still above it it's all standing on stilts that's insane uh wow this thing could take a flood that's how big this is this is awesome sweet so now we just have one tower to do on this corner one tower to do on that corner start working on upgrading the building itself and then refacing the entire building uh now i did take the light off the other side this here, I don't think is a light you can actually make. Let's go up top and take a look at the ones we actually made out front. Because uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind keeping some of those lanterns out front. I think they actually look really nice. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, and yeah, no, it's definitely a whole different one. So I'm going to take that one out here. And we are going to go and grab the ones out of here. Perfect. Like, look at all the supplies I got. Just being out front there, taking out screamers and taking care of shit, right? There we go. Okay. I'm gonna jump off here, hopefully not into the spikes. Totally forgot about those little buggers. And we will replace these lights here, um, just to piss you guys off. There we go, nicely done. Put one there, turn that sucker on, nice. Yeah, I think these ones look a little better. Those ones, um, I don't know, the, the white panels on them I think look a little weird. Oh, look at that, beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Then we gotta put all the glass up in here too. Oh my god, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go around too in the building at some point and strip off all of that green off the side. I'm not really a big fan of that at all. Alright guys, well I just looked at the time and that's about all the time I have to record today's episode. Now i got to go and edit this. My favorite part's actually editing. I love editing. Every once in a while I'm like, oh you know what? I can do this, I can do this, I can cut into it like this. It's just, I don't know. Uh, from a nerd point of view, I love it. It's awesome. It's so much fun. It makes everything worth it, right? Like recording and playing is fun. But the editing, that's really where I love doing this job. Anywho, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for this episode. So I want to remind you once again, stay classy, always back up them game saves, and I'll see you in the next episode, Discord, or in stream. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.